second day. For the first time out, we're not experienced, but we try. So, in case you guys are wondering what trailer I got, I noticed most of the reviews, they don't, they're all the dealerships, so you don't have an actual person's review. So I'm gonna review the Springdale Rugged Terrain by Keystone. It's the BH 1800, the 1800 BH. And I pull it, pull it with the Z71 trail box. I have to come over here. First thing is, it didn't come with automatic. Sorry, at the time, I just couldn't think of the name for it, but it is an electronic trailer jack. Continue. To raise and lower it. So I got one. It was only like, I think like 160 bucks, maybe 120. And it's really easy to install. The second thing is, there's no cover, and the battery they gave me doesn't work. I have to find out why it's not working. But other than that, for the first trip, it did pretty good. Another course that I didn't like is over here, since the battery didn't work, I gotta run my generator all day. generator I use is the Champion the Digital Hybrid and uh, it's uh, 4,000 and 3,500 running watts. So that works pretty well. But if you look over here, we just took it out. This is the one that's supposed to go off-roading and I don't know how this happened. I gotta buy a new one now. But this just broke off for the gray wa uh, black water tank. So I found that hanging. The tabs were broken. But, eh, that's replaceable. That's not a big deal. We're going back. Over here. The stabilizers weren't perfectly fine. Starting over here. So, this one came out fine. You can adjust it higher or lower if you need it. All you gotta do is just pull it down. And then one of the other quirks that about this trailer is to open the awning, you have to make sure the door is not in the way. If the door is in the way, you can hit the, the awning. And it's still stuffed up right there. It's time. The awning lights did pretty well at night. The one that just came on is fine. With the generator. Now you have the inside, and you can adjust the speakers as well, and you can change the zones, just like this. Very nice. This one came with a queen size bed over here. Now the BH1800 did not come with anything to separate it, so I installed this little channel for the curtains right here, and it works just fine. This table right here falls down, you can have another bed. Another thing that's kind of weird is usually you can put these cushions to, to go in the center, but these ones are rounded, so it doesn't fit very well, so I might have to find another cushion to do that. There's also storage on the bottom of here if you wanted to put stuff in there and you got another storage right there yeah places for the top i just put my hats and you got an extra door right here these are your lights control and turns on and off the lights this button i'm assuming is just an extra switch it doesn't go to anything and this is the outside light another uh, outlet you got a small tv here this is your controls to check the battery, the fresh water. We used about half of it. 
black tank, gray tank. Your thermostat for the heater, and it's off the propane down here. So it heats up that way. Another one, this doesn't have a separate fridge uh, freezer. So it's all in one. So when you open it, it just, you gotta use it this way. It's one of those, a mini fridge type of deal. And then you can use propane to use this, or you can use the electricity. We got the water faucet here, just like that. Two burners, and these ones you gotta light manually with the lighter, not a big deal. We got storage space, we put towels in there. And you got a microwave. The fan goes on, light goes on. More pantry cupboards, just like that. And then you got two little parts right there to put stuff in. And two drawers down here. This one came with the double bunks. So you got a top bunk and the bottom bunk. I'll probably put another curtain there as well. Um, so that's nice to have if you have a family. This is the bathroom. Bathroom light goes on manually and you gotta press that button. You got a vent fan up here and you just press that and it filters out. It stinks in here or whatnot. This bathroom also comes with a glass cabinet. Hot water, cold water, or hot water, cold water, I should say. And then down here is just where everything, you got a top part, but the bottom part's it's kind of like a sealed because I guess that's where all the plumbing is. The shower isn't too bad. Um, I am 5'6", so I fit in it just fine. And I took a shower with it. Cold shower though. Didn't feel I need to use the hot water. Alright. Now, if you go out here, When I got the trailer, you know, not many people talk about it. So the trailer is okay. Little things, you know, I had problems with like that cap breaking, the battery is not working, but those are things that I guess I could fix on my own. Um, I'm not gonna put a flame in the dealer. But when they sent me off, they sent me off, they just gave me one one hitch, a shank, and, a, and, the, and the ball. So I threw it on. Even though this is a small trailer, I'd say about 26 feet with the tongue. Um, it still gets a lot of wind movement. So I actually did purchase this. I remember another dealership, they wanted to charge me 1600. I bought this for 300 or even less than that. The Pro Series friction sway control and the weight distribution. Now that I put this on, I hardly notice the sway. I could drive one-handed so much better and a lot safer. I would recommend that. So, we went camping out here. This is Jenks East Disperse, and uh, just people pull off the side of the road out here. It's close to Big Bear, and uh, just all forest. As long as you know, as you can see, all there are trees all down here. And uh, I let the dog run around, and surprisingly, he doesn't run away from me, and he still wants to stay with me, so he's still here. So that's about it. First, uh, we hiked up to Jenks Lake, which is supposed to be closed. There were people fishing there. I caught two little, little small mouth bass and uh, almost a large one, but ah, I got away. But it was a good camping trip overall. So I don't really have much to compare it to. It was just wonders. It did great for the first time, and I expect it will be good. Obviously, like everything, things will break and get the automatic, uh, uh, Again, right here, I also, uh, called, uh forgot the name of it. Electric, yes, the electronic uh, trailer jack. That is definitely a must-have. It sucks cranking that thing all the time. So. Alright, that's it.